All right, little explorers, it's time to dive back into our gecko adventure. Let's ask Greg even more awesome questions about geckos, their habitats, and their incredible lives. Ready? Let's go! You've got more questions, I've got answers. Let's keep the fun learning going. Greg, what's the most unique habitat geckos can live in? Oh, that would be cliffs and caves near the ocean. Some geckos, like the morning gecko, live on remote islands where they scale steep, rocky walls as if they're built for climbing. But what makes this habitat extra cool is how tough it can be. Imagine living in a place with constant ocean winds, limited food, and sharp rocks everywhere. It's not easy. Yet geckos thrive here. They've adapted to eat whatever bugs come their way and to squeeze into the tiniest cracks for shelter. It's just another way geckos show how adaptable we are. Can geckos survive in cold places or do they only like warm weather? While most geckos love the warmth, there are some species that can handle cooler climates. In these places, we hibernate when temperatures drop, slowing our body functions down so we don't need as much energy. It's like taking a really long nap. During this time, we find safe, hidden spots under rocks, logs, or even inside warm crevices. When spring comes, we wake up, stretch our sticky toes, and get right back to hunting. It's a perfect strategy for surviving seasons that don't exactly scream gecko weather. How do geckos see in the dark? Our eyes are built for the night. They're huge compared to our heads, which lets them take in more light. And we can see colors in near total darkness, something even humans can't do. Here's another fun fact. Instead of round pupils like yours, we have vertical slits. This helps us focus in dim light and detect even the tiniest movements, like a bug crawling on a leaf. Whether it's pitch black in a jungle or just a dim forest, our eyes are like nature's best night vision goggles. Why do geckos make noises? What do they mean? Oh, geckos are chatterboxes. Each sound we make has a different meaning. Chirps and clicks can be a way of saying, hey, this is my space. Or we might use them to attract a mate. When we're warning off a rival, our sounds get louder and sharper. It's like shouting, back off, buddy. What's cool is that geckos are some of the only lizards that talk like this. It's a way we stand out in the reptile world. And you know what? Some people say our chirps sound musical, it's like we're tiny jungle performers. How do geckos protect themselves besides camouflage? We've got quite the defense toolbox. Of course, camouflage is a classic, but sometimes blending in isn't enough. That's when we pull out the drama. Some geckos puff up their bodies to look bigger and scarier. Others make hissing or barking sounds that catch predators off guard. Then there's our tail trick. If a predator grabs us, we can drop our tail. It keeps wiggling, distracting them while we dash off to safety. It's like the ultimate gecko escape act. What's the smallest gecko in the world? The tiniest gecko is the dwarf gecko, which can be as small as half an inch long. These little guys are so light they could stand on a single blade of grass. Despite their size, they're just as agile and clever as larger geckos. They climb, hunt, and even camouflage with the best of them. It's proof that size doesn't matter when you're a gecko. What's the coolest thing about gecko feet? Our toes are like magic tools. They're covered in millions of tiny hairs called setae. These hairs create a force that lets us grip almost anything. Glass, walls, ceilings, you name it. But that's not all. Our feet are self-cleaning. Dirt or dust just falls off as we walk, so we never lose our sticky grip. Scientists are even studying gecko toes to create new types of glue. How cool is that? Do geckos ever glow in the dark? Some geckos have natural fluorescence, which means we glow under UV light. It's not something we use to hunt or hide, but it does make us stand out in certain environments. Scientists think it might help us recognize each other in the dark or even attract mates. Either way, glowing geckos are like nature's neon signs. Gecko hatchlings are mini versions of adults right from the start. They're fully equipped with sticky toes, sharp eyesight, and quick reflexes. As soon as we hatch, we're ready to climb, hunt, and explore the world. There's no babying for geckos. 
It's all about independence from day one. That would be the Madagascar day gecko. They're bright green with bold red markings and they love showing off in the sunlight. Their colors help them stand out in tropical rainforests where they climb trees and search for fruit and nectar. They're like the artists of the gecko world, always painting the forest with color. I'd have to say it's our adaptability. We geckos can live almost anywhere, from sandy deserts to tropical forests and even city buildings. No matter where we are, we find a way to thrive. Plus we get to climb, hunt, and explore all day, or night, depending on the species. It's like every day is an adventure, and being part of nature's big, wild world is the best thing ever. Greg, can geckos swim? Some geckos are excellent swimmers. While we don't usually hang out in water, our lightweight bodies and strong tails help us stay afloat if needed. We'll cross streams or puddles if we have to, but climbing is still our favorite way to get around. Do geckos live on every continent? Not quite every continent, but almost. You'll find geckos in Asia, Africa, Australia, Europe, and the Americas. We've even been introduced to islands like Hawaii. The only place you won't find us is Antarctica. It's way too cold for us there. Do geckos have teeth? Oh, we have teeth, all right. Lots of tiny ones. Geckos can have up to 100 teeth and they're perfect for gripping and munching on insects. What's even cooler is that our teeth grow back when they wear down, so we're never without our chompers. How do geckos climb upside down without falling? It's all thanks to the millions of tiny hairs on our toes called setae. These hairs interact with surfaces on a molecular level, creating an amazing grip. Whether it's a rough tree bark or smooth glass, we hold on like pros. Can geckos shed their skin? We sure can. Geckos shed their skin regularly to grow and stay healthy. The best part? We often eat the old skin afterward because it's full of nutrients. It's like recycling gecko style. How long can geckos live? In the wild, geckos usually live for about 5 to 10 years, but in captivity, with great care, we can live even longer, sometimes up to 20 years. That means plenty of time for climbing, hunting, and exploring. Do geckos lay eggs? Yes, we do. Most geckos lay one or two soft, leathery eggs at a time in safe, hidden spots. Once the eggs are laid, they stay warm until the tiny geckos are ready to hatch. Baby geckos are independent from the moment they're born. What's the loudest gecko species? The toke gecko takes the prize for being the loudest. Their name comes from the sound they make, which is so loud it echoes through the forest. They use it to claim territory and call to their mates. It's like having the best voice in the jungle. Why do geckos come out at night? Geckos are nocturnal, which means nighttime is when we shine. There's less competition for food, cooler temperatures, and plenty of bugs to hunt. Plus, our night vision gives us a big advantage over other animals. Do geckos ever get scared? Oh, definitely. When we sense danger, we either freeze, blend in, or dash to safety. Sometimes we even wiggle our tails to distract predators. Being small means we have to stay alert, but we're pretty good at outsmarting threats. What colors can geckos be? Geckos come in almost every color you can imagine. From the bright greens and blues of day geckos to earthy browns and grays for camouflage, our colors match the environments we live in. Some of us even have bright patterns like stripes or spots. Do geckos have ears? We do. Our ears are small openings on the sides of our heads and they're super sensitive. We can hear the tiniest sounds like a bug crawling nearby. It's one of the ways we stay aware of our surroundings. What makes geckos unique compared to other lizards? Oh, we're definitely one of a kind. 
Unlike other lizards, we have sticky toes, incredible night vision, and no eyelids, which is why we lick our eyes to keep them clean. Plus, we're some of the only lizards that talk using chirps and squeaks. We're small, but we sure stand out in the reptile world. Thank you, Greg. Wow, explorers, what an incredible journey we've had today. From discovering the amazing abilities of geckos to exploring their beautiful habitats, we've learned so much about these tiny adventurers and the incredible role they play in nature. Geckos are more than just fascinating creatures. They're a reminder of how amazing our planet is. Every gecko, every habitat, and every little detail we've seen today is a piece of the incredible puzzle that makes up our world. And learning about real animals like geckos helps us understand how we can care for nature and all its wonders. That's right, kiddos. By learning about geckos, you're not just discovering fun facts, you're becoming explorers and protectors of the wild. Every question you ask and every new thing you learn makes a difference for creatures like me. Here's the coolest part. By exploring real animals and their habitats, we get to see how beautiful and connected our world is. It's so cool for kids to see and learn about animals from all around the globe right here on this channel. Whether it's rainforests, deserts, or even cities, geckos remind us that adventure is everywhere. And guess what? There's always more to explore, more to discover, and more ways to help protect the world we all share. You've been amazing explorers today. Keep asking questions, keep learning about wildlife for kids like me, and always remember that even the smallest creatures have the biggest stories to tell. So let's make a promise together. To care for animals, protect nature, and always stay curious. Say it with me. I promise to care for animals, protect nature, and always stay curious. Thank you for joining us on this unforgettable adventure. Don't forget to subscribe to Fun Animals for Kids, your go-to channel for fun learning, animal videos, and wildlife for kids. Until next time, stay curious, keep exploring, and always celebrate the wonders of nature.